Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another late night paint night down here at Time Warp Custom Paint. I will be your host again, Adam Paul. I got my wife over here behind the computers. If you have any questions, uh, let us know and we'll try to get those. Sure. But uh, anyways, in order to be put into the, the will to be able to win some stuff tonight, all you have to do is hashtag lime into the comments and that will put you into in for the spin. Now you don't have, you just do have to do it once and that's it, you're good for all the spins. So don't worry about that. Uh, but once we get to, I think what, 25 likes? We'll go ahead and start spinning that wheel. But tonight, we got the same style of hood. What size is this? 18, 18 there, 21 here, 15 inches. These are just a steel hood. I base coated this with the uh, metallic gold um, lime lime powder. And we'll go ahead and show a video on that here in a second, but um, he show you how to mix that up and, and whatnot. So right, right there's the center. Okay, on the agenda tonight, just real quick, I wanna just brief over what we're gonna be doing so you know what to expect. Um, I did print this out with the Cricut cutter, went online, uh, found a good image, put it into the app, on my phone, there's just a design space app that you can use. And uh, basically it wipes out the background. You can go in there and pick and choose what you want to, um, uh, what you want to crop and whatnot. So um, pretty easy to use. So Cricut Maker 3 comes with the design space app, which is really important because you, you're able to do stuff like this. Like once again, just pulled this off the internet, was able to create this pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna hit that into the center. Um, the plan is is so we have the, the gold base here i'm gonna stripe stripe out some uh designs that would kind of complement what we got going on here the center we're gonna go black um before or after i lay this down i haven't really decided all the ins and outs on how i'm gonna do this but uh, i think maybe i'll stick this on the gold we'll leave this gold hit it with black real fire up this so once again we're, this is like a real fire tutorial but real fire, it's one of those things where, you, where back in the days you used to be able to just hit flames on everything, um, and they and they were cool with that. But now it's more like you would use fire as just a, a complement to a design. So that's all we're going to do with this. So we're going to roll some fire up around there, and then uh, we'll fill this up with some other. Hopefully, some cool stuff. Hopefully, it looks good. Um, but uh, let's get to it. Someone asked where they can get a copy of that. That emblem. Um, all you have to do is just look up Trans Am logo, and then pretty much any clean picture is gonna you're gonna be able to cut it out with that program. So we got eighth inch lime line. I got some better lighting set up too, so hopefully this will help you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know. Well, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> no, so when I'm running this line, I'm kind of keeping an eye on this negative space on this edge right here. I'm just kind of eyeballing about an eighth inch away. Let's see how these two are going to... Can you even see that? Oh, yeah. So right here, I'm going to go ahead... Ah, woohoo! Appreciate that. I did 
just started airbrushing a couple days ago. Any tips for me on what I should work on to help improve my designs? Mm, I would just say practice. Just, uh, just yeah, just on something like this, just practice laying out different uh, tape designs. Yeah, that's all I can. Really, it's just the more you do, the better you're going to get. Here's, a, here's another little trick real quick. I've showed this many times, but instead of just cutting the tape, I'm just going to lay it across like that and then just bring the tape up to the to the blade. So that way I'm not like going to cut through the bottom layer, which happens all the time, really. Kevin's wondering if you're going to have t-shirts soon. Uh, Yeah, hopefully very soon. And Crafton's Custom Paint said... I really appreciate the kind words on Instagram and the likes. Really do love the Lime Line leafing supplies. And right now I'm taking a short break from laying gold leaf on a road king. Oh, cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, where's that going? So I, I marked out my center line earlier. I just measured it out. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back, though. Let's see. Okay. Willow Smut has a question, says, Adam, stock 2.9 Sportster tank, Harley metal flake black and some metal flake red. My logo both sides, artistic creativity on everything. 58 on air cleaner cover, 2.3K for paint. Is that right or in the ballpark? Uh, 2.3 what? K for paint. Uh, yeah, I'll have to read that one. What was the two? I don't understand the 2.3K. What was that? That's how much he's charging. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I thought he, thought he was like asking about uh, something else. No, he's asked uh, how much he's charging. He's asking if it's in the right, in the right. Oh, part. yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Yeah. You're, you're doing it right there. Sorry. Super confused. All right. So I'm just going to lay, just lay out a few strips of the two inch tape. You can also use just regular transfer tape as well, or frisket film. Oh, uh, this is what we have. This is what we'll use, and it's still transparent, so we're able to see exactly where we're going to lay it down. Diamond Custom Paint said, "Adam, how do you keep from getting a brownish hue at certain angles when spraying the powder ghost blue on white base coat?" Yeah, that is a tough thing. Um, it's kind of uh, it kind of just happens with all of the white pearls. The white colored pearls. Uh, one thing I could say is don't oversaturate it, like because once it lays over and gets really thick, that's when that happens a lot. So when you're spraying on white, it's better to be go a little bit less. Um, and yeah, you, sometimes you have to rethink how you're going to do if you're doing ghost flames or something like that. Sometimes adding just a little bit of a uh, of blue candy to that mixture could help. But yeah, that's um one of those things that's real hard with those i'm gonna go ahead and stick these together the sig p said can you do candy flames over a solid color or would it be too transparent for the effect to work oh no you no that would definitely work yep yeah it would look more like a pigmented color um but it actually looks pretty cool too candies transparent candies always look better over like a pearl or a metallic but um i've sprayed them over base coats and it just gives it a more solid look can you mix a pearl base pigment in with your final clear coat yeah you can do that well i don't know if it's best to do your final clear coat but just remember when you're putting a uh, pigment or anything into a clear coat clear coat will lays down and it kind of levels out so if you or if you run it you're going to run that pearl too and you can't once the pearl runs you, you can see what's going on so it's not you're not going to be able to hide that uh, so, so just, just keep, keep that, that in mind. If you're going to do it, be be liberal with it, just a little bit. Okay, hopefully I get this in the center. Here's the center right there. What's the correct process to clearing over tank decals? That's tough as well. Um, make sure you're using the right decals, I guess, to start. 
Uh, the other thing is, is if you're going to, I've always, I've always kind of had a tough time with decals. I never really loved doing them. Um, I definitely wouldn't do one now. Uh, but if the only time I really did have success is when I laid them over clear coat and sanded it smooth. So that way it had good contact. And then when you're laying down your first coats of clear, you have to go super light because you don't want that, um, the product like the, uh, the urethane uh, getting into that sticker, getting underneath it. So dry dust coats to get the build up, and then you can you can uh, start adding a little bit heavier coats. Do you need a special printer to print out and cut out that Firebird logo? Uh, yeah, it's called a Cricut cutter. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, usually, it's used for crafts, but this is what we're doing is really a craft technically. Uh, but not like what it used to be. That's what I always thought, like cricket cutter. What the heck? Uh, you had one back in the day, huh? Ash? Yep. And it was not what it is now. So it's it's definitely different. They've had cartridges back then, so you couldn't create what you wanted. They you couldn't create what you wanted. Now there's an app that you can use, um, and then it, it links uh, Bluetooth straight to the. Literally, all I use is my phone when I do these. I don't have to jump on a computer. Kevin McCann sent a $10 super chat said, sorry, I missed last week. Oh, no problem. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, thanks for, for that. Chat. And looks like we have 77 likes already. Oh, shoot. We got to spin that wheel. Let me go ahead and pull this. That way you can see what we have going on here. Oh, what's... Oh, man. Hold up. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I think we stretched this a little bit. Too, yeah? Big Mike said, oh man, Cricket, here I come, Amazon. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Black Friday. That's the day. I bet they're on sale. Nate said, I'm using my wife's Cricket. It's full of metal flake. Well, here's the thing, guys. You don't need to buy yourself a Cricket. You need to buy your wife a Cricket. <laughs> then you get to use it <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah, so two and one. For a Christmas gift. Oh, every woman would love a cricket cutter. I think they're three ninety nine or something. Then you can just use it on your projects too. She can. You can also do like uh, iron on t shirt stuff. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of stuff we do with that. We emboss things. It's pretty cool. A lot of stuff you do. The Sig P said, did you make it to SEMA? And if so, what was your favorite booth or whatever? Yeah, we made it to SEMA. Uh, what was the favorite? The House of Color booth was cool. Oh, yeah. You got to talk to... to, uh, to uh... You got to talk to Craig? No, no. Uh, oh, that's Craig Frazier. Uh, you're putting me on the spot now. I can't remember. Lomsky? Yes, John. John. Yes. John. And that was a cool talk. Yeah, he, he was cool guy to talk to for sure yeah very knowledgeable learned a lot learned a lot about the history of house of color um learned about yeah about the uh a lot of stuff it was very 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 interesting okay so put the center line back down oh oh yeah let's spin it let's spin it, let's spin it yeah yeah yep real quick Two spins, it looks like. We're gonna yeah, we're going to give it two spins. Uh, we're going to win. Yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, let's do, hey, we got glue in, so we can do a leaf pack. Okay. All right, so the first one will be a leaf pack. It'll come with the uh, leaf roller and uh, some silver leaf and some glue. So, and, and those are consumables. Well, at least the two of them are consumables. So you, you're going to use them if you already have them. Okay. What about the second winner? Uh, second winner, we'll do. Uh, let's do a candy pack. This is a tri pack, so you'll win all the candy. So we're going to be spraying root beer brown later on this, with those three colors. You're going to be able to make this same color that we're doing here. So that's valued at about seventy bucks or so, right? Yeah. Okay. Someone real quick says, "What kind of vinyl do you use? Why I pull this wheel up?" Uh, what is the vinyl? I got to keep looking on the back every time. We Oracle uh, six three one. 
removable masking vinyl. This stuff's great. Ah, I forgot to show it. Hold on. Shoot, it already spun and picked the winner. Sorry, you guys don't get to see it. There we get it, it is. We get it too. Okay, so it looks like the first winner, Shoot. 160 Dutchman 3. Congratulations. So all you have to do is email us at info at limelinepaintsupply.com. And then just let us know your info. We have your name written down. We know what you won. Um, if you if you if you already have the roller or something, just let us know. I, and I need an address. Need an address. Okay, let's spin it now so they can see it. Dang, it, this mouse is throwing me off. <laughs> or this non-mouse. All right. All right, let's go. Oh, there's me on there. Almost one. Almost one. Stephen Lee there. Uh, who we got? The Sig P twenty twenty. 220. Congratulations. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, let me know when we're at 75 and up. Yep, and then we'll do a couple. It's better to do a couple at a time. Get your screen back. There you are. Okay, so I'm looking at the negative space in between here, and then also I, I want to make sure I uh, is going to keep that contained to this panel. Dave M says, love the poster. Oh, thank you. Do you use Cricut subscription app or what app? Uh, there is a subscription, but you don't need to actually subscribe to it. So you can still get to use the app and it, you still use the features. I think it's called Design Space, right? Yeah, it's called Design Space. Yeah, the app is. I think you can probably even get it. I don't. I think you can get it on your app on your phone. Um, and use it. You just need a cricket cutter to be able to cut it. So even if you wanted to mess around to see like what it's about, you can just do that without a cutter. I'm pretty sure. You just have to go to uh, the app store. Well, we're already at 97 likes. I guess. Oh wow! Okay. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's Hello? wait for a minute. Let's wait because we got to get some work done. No. Oh. Okay, spinning the wheel. We'll spin it a couple times. Okay, we're gonna spin it a couple more, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking of some design here. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe just uh, maybe three quarters of an inch. Then I'm going to do a triangle right here. And then curve the tape at whatever angle I feel like. I'm gonna maybe go like something like this straight back down let's see how we have this shape with this little pointy and I don't know what they call them people are doing them now so I figured I'd show it I think this is really popular like on helmets and stuff like that but I feel like we're gonna be able to fill this panel up so, something cool I'm gonna do the same thing here maybe we'll make this one like half inch away from that line right there because I'm just hovering the tape up above and then I'll place it down instead of like instead of going like this I mean there's times to do this but like if I'm going to do this straight line I'm not doing it like this because see how crooked and jagged that is if I'm doing a straight line I'm doing it putting it right where I need it there I need it there not making sure I'm not stretching too hard and then I'm going to lay it straight down see that so you always get a straight line. But there is time to kind of follow the tape. Like when you're doing flames, you have to because you're constantly readjusting. But when you're doing straight lines, it's like you hover it down, hover it over, and then lay it down. Okay, so we got that. This could have been a little straighter, I feel. That's okay. Someone asked if these are the hoods you sell on Amazon. Uh, these aren't the hoods. The other ones are plastic, but I'm looking to actually get these hoods, but they're going to be about this wide. Not quite this big. I feel like they'll be perfect for these live events. Maybe this one will. Uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, that's okay. I don't know what the hell I keep pushing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and match the other side. Once again, three quarters, kind of eyeball that, hover it on the top. Lay it straight down like that. Same thing, I'm going to, let's go ahead. And the way I can measure this out is by laying down a tape line. Machismo Design said, I was using your candy kit when I was painting the candy on my piece using a stencil I cut. When I went to lift the stencil, it lifted the candy paint too. Did I use too much candy? It, um, you may have oversaturated it. You got to be really careful with that. When you're, you want to make sure you're laying it down in, in layers that aren't too wet. Um, definitely adhesion problems can come when, you're, when you flood stuff out like that. Doug, okay. Douglas said, I asked last week about doing a sealer over the fiberglass on the bottom of my super jet. Your mic was cutting out when you responded. What would be better, a primer sealer or epoxy primer? Uh, and what, what's it on again? Uh, fiberglass on the bottom of my super jet. Um, epoxy is going to be like the toughest thing you could lay. You can lay down. Um, you don't have any problems with corrosion because it's, it's on the bottom of a, a jet ski, right? Super jet? Yeah. I'm guessing, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would go with epoxy, but remember, it doesn't sand as good. And then Sig P asked, how many times can you stick and unstick Limeline before you oh, start doing it here. To, to get shaky <laughs> edges? Well, I kind of bent the edge a little bit on how that How many times one. can you do that? <laughs> Very good question. Um, a couple of times, really, you can pull your tape maybe a couple of times and after that's going to be uh, lacking some of the properties to stick very good. So, all right, I'm just getting it close. That one may be a little different. Um, I feel like it's be okay. Can you base coat right over the top of epoxy primer? You, you can, you'll have to read the instructions. Um, you have a window though, <clears throat> if you're doing a wet on wet application. So you can only really do that for for a certain period of time. If not, then you just scuff it down and clean it, and then you're good to go. I would I would prefer to do that way, but you know you can do it both ways because a wet on wet application, which means wet on wet means you're laying down the primer, letting it flash off. That primer stays open long enough that when you lay something else on the top, there's going to be a chemical uh, adherent adherence to that um but or you can let the primer dry you can sand it smooth and then those the when you're when you're sanding it with at least 600 grit or whatever um it'll etch the next layer will etch in mechanically and uh bond that way so it works either way john said need to use the honeycomb stencil to match the Oh, it went away to match the wheels, I think he said. Yeah, I actually am doing honeycomb on this. Yeah, he said, need Good to call. use a honeycomb stencil goes with the Trans Am wheels. Yep. You read your mind. I did. He did. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. Pull these guides off. Okay, let's spin that wheel. We're good. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these edges right here. We'll go ahead and spin the wheel. So I think we get to spin it twice. Oh, let's spin it twice. Let's do on the first one, we'll do uh tape and metal flake. And the second one we'll do um let's do another sandpaper, ultimate sandpaper pack. Those things are pretty awesome. Look, 
John, save ya. You're a winner, buddy. I've seen you in here. I think I sent you an email the other day, too. So, yeah. Right? About, Did I? About the sander or polisher? About the polisher. Yeah. yeah, hit me up about that. So, you're going to have to hit me up anyway. So, you won uh, some flake some flake and some tape. Okay, we're going to spin again. Let's do it. Lewis, all right, you're a big winner. What did he win again? Oh, the, the sandpaper pack. All right, so I'm just trimming the rest of these up real quick. That way we can have a nice clean outer edge here. Get it all? Yep. Okay. All right. Looking good. I like it. I like it. All right. We're going to take some, uh, looks like this is one inch. You can use three quarter inch though. I just grabbed whatever was over there. And we're going to uh, mask off everything outside of this center. Where'd that masking roll go? I just had it. With the green. Roll with the green. Oh, oh right here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, check this stuff out. This is literally like the best masking that I have used ever in my life. Nice thing about this is it does rip, but it's not paper. It's actually like a plastic and it traps the, uh, it traps the paint on it. So it doesn't flake off. It's really good stuff. You don't have to worry about getting a blade out or anything like that. And, you, and it unfolds right there, so it makes it a little bigger. Man, I love this stuff. Okay. What we're wanting to do is... Uh, not right there. Let's go ahead and save that little edge right there. Same, same with up here. And said what's the paper called can i get it on amazon um that will be well so we'll have that on the line line brand coming very soon uh, and i don't think so i haven't seen anything like it really it's actually a product we found at sema and uh yeah that we tested it good enough with these few times that this stuff is great okay black so we're gonna go ahead and load up uh, this is a one, or this is a point zero four airbrush. Point zero three, point zero five will work as well. Any, any point zero seven, it's all good. Nate said, "Can I use a limelight metal flake in epoxy for tumblers? I'm doing Christmas night themed tumblers for the holiday." Wow, that sounds clear epoxy. Cool. Yeah, if it's clear epoxy, yeah, that would work. Yep. Okay. Thanks for helping me out. Sorry, a little too late to <laughs> All right. So you can also take this in the booth and uh, black it out. Let me go ahead and turn that fan on. Maybe it's too crazy in here. Get some air moving. Uh, the sick piece said, You can spray base coat large areas with an airbrush. 
Yeah, if you want to. Kind of, kind of takes a minute though. If you're black base coat, you can do this. If you're trying to lay down like um, a metallic, understand that that's going to affect the way the metallic looks. But yeah, I didn't really want to take this down into the booth. I could, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the work. And it's okay if it's blotchy, really, because there's going to be fire up and through here. So, um, but yeah, however you want to do it. You can see I'm just starting because most of the fire is going to be in the center. So if it is a little blotchy in the center, it's fine because I'm going to be layering a lot more paint there. So I just want to make sure I get the edges really good. Blend into the center. That was one cup of paint. You can see how far that goes. Quite a ways, actually. Actually, wasn't even a full cup. Let me back. Earlier on the chat, someone said Ohio legalized weed, marijuana. Maybe oh. just tonight or something. Oh, really? Celebration. <laughs> Why? <It's weird. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Awesome. Yeah, get with the times, Ohio, huh? Did you say Ohio? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Jeez. Where you been? All right. So, like I said, probably a little blotchy in the center. I'm okay with that because it's going to be all fiery there anyway. So, okay. Yeah, it's gone pretty much, but we'll bring it back. Ohio legal on December 7th, they said. Oh, they got to wait. That's the worst. <laughs> like, That's legal, but not tell. Why the seventh? That's kind of random. Why they choose that? Well, at least it's before Christmas. Christmas. Well, Christmas. That's we got the Christmas Maybe bug. Maybe the New Year. Well, that too. Here, Thursday, the seventh. Sean says, I have trouble regulating how much sugar I pull on the brush. It's either all or nothing for me. Any advice on how to keep a lower pull? Do you know of a brush where I can adjust adjust the max pull? Oh, yeah. Um, what brush does that? This one does. This one does right here. That guy? Screw that in. It's only going to allow you to... Oh, wait a minute. That didn't work. That's supposed to work like that. Huh. Interesting. Um, there is a valve right there on, on some airbrushes that will only allow you to pull back so far. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to mix up some candy red. So I got clear base coat in all three of these. I'm going to do some candy red in that one. I'm just going to guess, really. It mixes um, one part to three parts, clear base coat, one part of this concentrate. But there's no really hard rules, so you can I'll put just a little bit more. Oh, and so on. You can kind of just, you don't want to do use all concentrate, obviously. You still need the clear base coat in order to keep the bind together and make sure you don't have problems. 
Owen on here is from Australia and wants to know if we ship the powders to Australia. Uh, we really don't ship anything overseas. We do have an Amazon in Japan, so you can get the uh, the metal flake and the tape in Japan. Working Sorry about that. Side. We're working on we're working on that though. Okay, so we got the gold there. What's left? Oh, that's all we need actually. Mm -hmm. Well, we can mix the red, but what we'll do is we don't need the clear base. Helen Will said, been too long since I've seen the master at work. Ah, thank you. Much appreciated. All right, let's open up this white. Someone said, when you realize your airbrush isn't working right, laugh out loud. Okay, I have some white base coat here. I do need white base coat. And we will reduce all of this with urethane reducer. And all this you all this reducer is doing is just um, thinning it out, so we're able to make it spray. Patrick said, "Got my candy. I want one in the mail not long ago. Now I just have to buy everything else to use in." Yeah, right on. Okay, I'm gonna finish mixing these up, and you won't want to give something away. Let's do a black candy. Let's do a couple of black candies. A couple? One each. One each? Yeah. <laughs> the next two people that win what the wheel. One each mean? <laughs> okay, so the next two spins are for black candy. Yep. Okay. Black candy concentrate. Okay. Right, good luck, guys. Uh, much is more designs. Congratulations. He's a winner. Okay, spin again. Let's do it. I'm not afraid. Who we got? Vince, RuPaul, Rup now, <laughs> RuPaul. Congratulations, you won. Black candy. All right, yeah, just go ahead and email us, us at the Limeline info at limelinepaintsupply.com and we will get you your prize. We just need to know where you live. Okay. We got white base coat. Now this is a little bit more over reduced than I usually do um, because that's what we want. We want it to be thin. We want it to blend. We want it to act like smoke really, you know? Um, so when I first start this, I'm not going to use any kind of stencil. What I do want to do is make sure that I kind of layer around the bird here. naturally fire is just going to kind of be smoky and just sig p said you know those fine line fluid pins with the reservoir for rock chips i saw a short on instagram of someone pinstriping with it have you ever tried it oh really wow is that what that is hmm i've seen the buglers like with a roller i actually have one of those somewhere Okay, you see it's just kind of it's kind of loose 
Let me make sure. That's pretty bright here. Let's see if I can get this a little better. Okay. You can see a little better now? Well, I think that's a better look for these guys. So let me go ahead and get this a little bit closer to you. Now we can see what's going on. Oh, that's much better. Okay, that'll do. We have the initial kind of a smoke. We want it kind of smoky a little bit out here. Not too much. Mostly concentrated in there. All right. Someone said you should paint Christmas ornaments in candy with a silver or gold design for the holidays. On an ornament? Yep. Oh, I've never done that. But good idea. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I might do something like that. Okay, we got the red. Much better with the view, they said. Oh, thank you. Good idea, Brian. Perry said, yeah, I think so too. Good idea. Okay, so we have the, the gold and the red candy from earlier. While you're looking for something else, uh, someone said, uh, Roman said, is there a particular type of pencil to use over the flaked clear to sketch out graphics without hurting anything? Uh, there is a Stabilo pencil. Stabilo? I think so. I don't know. Stabilo? Stabilo. I think it is a T. Yeah. So I'm going to take some of this gold and the red, mix it together to create an orange. John just gave you a $10 super chat and said, thank you for all that you do for us. Because of you, I was able to paint my Harley and now got two small paying jobs to do for people looking at starting a business. Sab Sabatini cost custom paints. Oh, badass. Yeah. If you're on Instagram, uh, hit me up. I can, I'll follow, give you a follow. Yeah. Thanks for the super chat. And that's awesome. Way to go. Yep. Good job. Isaac Verrut just sent you a $20 super chat. Oh, man, we're on fire. Look at that. Who was that? Isaac. Oh, yeah. We know Isaac. Well, we don't know no Isaac, but. Shady Vito said, do you need to let the candy sit after mixing it into the clear like the Wicked Candies do? You have to do that with Wicked Candies? Wow, I did not know that. Um, no, you do not. I think I do remember hearing something like that, though. It's like they have to uh, incubate or something. I don't know. There's a word for it. Your mom, your, your mom has to sit on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta call your, gotta hey, call mom, your, 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 your mother-in-law. It's even worse. Dog, That's no me, mother-in-law. No one would want to paint if that happened. <laughs> okay, so we have some orange here. Fill up the airbrush. So all we're going to do is this is transparent. It's candy. Candy means transparent. So since we're spraying a transparent down, like say I'm going to spray some of this orange and I'm going to spray it right here on this black. You can't even tell. You can't even tell, right? Because it's transparent. It's just black underneath. You can't really see it. But you spray it on top of the white. And now you got the orange coming through. So I'm going to kind of just hit all this with the orange. This is like the mid-tone of the, of the fire. The reason why we don't hit this with red, and you can, but it's going to overall, once, once you have your brightest colors on over top of a, like a red candy base coat, what's going to happen is when you clear it, those are all going to kind of mix together. So your brights are going to end up soaking in to your darker candies underneath making it all go darker you're going to lose some contrast there so that's why i don't like to hit it all with red because i when i do use red 
I only do it in areas. That way, I'm not, I don't cut blanket the whole thing. And that's the reason being for that is because we don't want those all to, because whether you like it or not, they're going to kind of mix together. Unless you're burying it with an inner coat clear. But once again, that's adding a lot of thickness you probably don't need. All right. You were right, Carrie said it is a stability. Oh, it is with a T? Yeah. Oh, okay. We should be able to Google stuff while we're here, you know? Like we can double check. Why? You have friends that help. Oh, there you go. We need a. We need a Even better. We need a Googler. You need a Time Warp official Googler. Thanks, Carrie, for answering the question. Yeah, I appreciate it. You know that right. Maybe Carrie's our official Googler. Well, she said you were right. It's with the T. Um, question, have you ever done rust red candy fades over cream or off-white? I love the antique aged paper look it gives. Um, yes, okay. Asking if I can. Was that asking if I can do that? Were you reading the question or no. my hair? <laughs> Full. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> have you ever done rust, rust red candy fades? Uh, I haven't. Yeah, I kind of have a long time ago. Over cream or off white? Mm. Nope, I have not. They just said, I love the antique aged paper look it gives. Yeah, just uh, um, with the with candies and stuff, just. Um, keeping on the lighter side uh, with with less candy, more clear base coat. That's what I kind of learned with that. But uh, yeah, I haven't done that much really. Okay, we do need to make a stencil real quick. Piece of paper? Is that the only one? No. Right under here. Okay. Adam, can a person do realistic? This is Misty. Adam, can a person do realistic looking flames with pinks, purples, and blues? Pinks, purples, yes. Yep, you could. Okay, I'm going to make me a stencil out of paper. Or you can make it out of, like, thicker cardboard paper, maybe, too. But what I'm going to do here is just... Whoa. Okay, just like that. Weird, wonky puzzle. Like Nickelodeon. Looks like might be a Nickelodeon. I don't know why. Have you done any cantina type jobs? That's actually on our list of things to do for a live. He said you should do one. A what? A patina? Uh huh. Oh uh, yes, I should. I need to get better at it. I feel like in order to teach it, but I gotta have to do it once. Someone said you can use carsick paper. Yeah, cardstock. There you go. That's a, that's the word I was thinking. Oh, cardstock. That's what I, I said. Cardboard paper, but it's really cardstock. Yeah, cardstock would be great for this. Miss, Misty said, "Can you do those unicorn flames one time? Pink, purple, and blue." Uh, maybe. I've done a lot of flames lately. Oh, wait a minute. Fire flames? Oh yeah. yeah. Was she talking about fire or flames? Either uh, or. Realistic looking flames. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I could. Yes. going to be a while though because usually with a fire job I don't want to do it again. But it'd be as simple as using your pink your uh, as your gold like we're doing here and then you would use your blue as the orange and you would use the purple as your as the red I'm doing here. So you just replace that. But you would need to be more careful about putting blue and purple. Make sure you're not putting it where you want the pink. Because that pink will go away real quick. Okay. How would you mix AMF style solid colors? Powder pigments work best for that kind of thing? What kind of powders? AMF? Hmm. I don't even know. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure on that one. 
Sorry. Maybe somebody can answer that on the chat. All right, so we can see this still? We good? All right, I'm gonna lightly start using my stencil. Maybe I'll choose this one right here. <laughs> Joel said, uh, Brandon said, anyone else seeing the face in those flames? Oh, I'm gonna make some stuff. <laughs> face, not stuff, face. Oh, face. I'm gonna make some face. Now that you say it, I can. <laughs> yeah, Nolan, AMF is a drink. That's what I thought, too. I didn't know it was a paint. That's what I was going to say. Oh, it is a paint? I don't AMF? know. AMF? AMF? Is that a paint or a mix? Yeah, I think that's a Harley. A Harley. So oh. I'm just using these stencils just to make uh, bigger flames. I'm not doing anything really small here maybe do this side right here and just add another layer see i'm not trying to copy anything i'm doing here i'm keeping it kind of in the inside so we're starting out fatter and now we're going to start bringing it more to the inside here are the powders basically a mica powder uh yes it is yep yeah, it's made for automotive though. It's uh, but to be honest, it's not not really any difference. AMF used to own Harley Davidson back in the day, so it's a year of a Harley. Yeah, right. It's when they made the from the seven Ironhead. Yeah. So, what was the question? Now I know what the well. I got to scroll up. Let me see. Um, how would you mix AMF style solid colors? Powder pigments work best for that kind of thing? Oh, you know what? I have a good question. Um, I have done that before. And what I did is I just did them all in white, all the stripes. Is it, I think that's kind of what he's looking for. I think it has different colored stripes. So you lay down white in the stripes and then you could hit it with the candy color over the top and it'll make it look like a solid color rather than a candy color because you're spraying it over white or you can you can use the the mica powders but you're not getting as solid of a color i've done that exact same paint job a couple of times and i've always done it with white base coat and then the colors of candy over the top i found it way easier to do it that way too when I need to tape over a design and cut the outline out, like to do a shadow or something, it's hard to see through the tape. Do you know of an easy to see through masking tape? Uh, we do have the two inch uh, semi-transparent tape, or you can use frisket film, which is clear. But usually I, I find always to find the two inch lime line is transparent enough to do what I need, but um, it's kind of up to you. It does tear more, so maybe frisket film is better because you can pull it off and lay it back down you can see that I, I put some of the shapes in here but i'm also uh blending it in with freehand strokes to kind of put put a layer of fire over the top you know the smoke because we don't want that hard of lines to start we want to blend this and push it back farther and the way we do that is by um adding more white to kind of blend those those in see how they're not as prominent anymore we'll go back and, and hit it with some other stuff but let's go ahead and um, we're, we're, we'll start to define our darkest areas now. So we'll hit it with the red and we'll start hitting some of these areas where we know they're going to be darker. Around here, we don't want that all in candy red. So now we've kind of defined where the fire is going to be. So I got the red candy in here now. Uh, very important that we're going to be just hitting the the darkest areas with this. So we're going to kind of fill in that area, that area. Because right here, we want this to be brighter. So if we, like I said before, if we soak this all in red candy, 
it's going to be hard to keep this bright because once we clear it, those are all going to kind of melt together, creating a darker color, you know, because we can always put more white over the top of this and then hit it with the gold, but it's going to mix in. We definitely want all the outside areas like around here and around all of this. You want to make sure you're hitting all the way up here because you're still getting a little bit of white overspray. And if it's white, if it goes red and then goes back to white, it's going to look funny. It's going to look like you missed it. So make sure you're hitting your edges and making those saturated and dark. Hit it in there. We're going to keep all that pretty dark, not too much fire there. And blending into the center. And we can go a little bit there, but we just don't want to like get it, you know, really crazy up in here. Just in these darkest spots, we're pushing that all back. Okay, looking good. Carrie said, I'm not sure if you said it or not already. Did you make your own fire stencil? Yes, this is just paper. Just drew it out, cut it out with a blade. Just, just any kind of wacky stencil like that. Just try to get your edges round. They don't have to be perfectly round, but not jagged, I guess. All right, I'm going to put white base coat back in. I'll get this white down. I'm probably going to need to spin that wheel again. Steve says, I'm painting my tank bright orange. That base color doesn't have flake. Should I add the flake to the orange base or use clear mix with the flake over the base orange? Uh, no, you would. Uh, so you got orange. Uh, you would. Bright orange. Bright orange. And he's looking for a metallic in it. Um, so, yeah, I would probably throw a, a metallic orange over the top of that. A um, couple of light coats. Um, if you don't, if you use like a regular metallic silver, it's going to be have silver specks on it. it and that's probably not going to be the greatest look. I might not, it, unless you're looking for that. But maybe just a little bit of metallic orange. I know we have that now, that metallic orange, um, if, you, if you've been looking for it. We've been out of stock on that for a while. Okay, so now I don't want to match up. See, if I was to lay this, I got white base coat back in here. If I was to lay this right back in here, and you're going to want to do it, like to refine that. Um, try not to do that. Always try to stay on the inside. So what I would do is this is probably the same exact stencil I used in there. I'm going to want to use one that has a little bit different shape, like maybe this one right here. And, and just keep it offset a little bit. See that? So this will this makes it look like there's a background. So just a lot of people, like I said, they'll they'll fall in into this uh, making these mistakes of where they're just relayering the stencils right back on or really close to where they were before. All you're going to do is keep stacking it. You want to start fat and then move into the center. So same thing here. Kind of put something in the middle there. I like to lay out my shapes first and then I'll blend them together after. See how that one's on the inside of that one. This one was right there. We'll kind of go right here a little bit and the more into the middle. So now it looks like there's one coming out from the back side of that. Okay, something light there. Once again, there's kind of where it was. Maybe we'll go inside just a little more. and take this one and maybe we'll light up the whole bottom of this right here because we want that to be pretty bright. Same thing here. Maybe see how that one's right there? We wouldn't want to it will look unnatural if we were to put one right there just like that. Like matching it up. 
because fire really doesn't do that. Um, so if you're gonna if you're gonna layer something next to it, try to make it like see how that one's like that. Maybe do this one like this. Try not to make the shapes look too similar. You know, make a few more shapes here and there. I think on here, Carrie just gifted. It says gifted one time. Time Warp Custom Paint membership to Roman. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do that. That's cool. I, yeah. I've never seen that. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, Carrie. Way to go. Yeah, you can gift uh, you can gift a membership to somebody and then they'll get they're able to get those discounts and stuff. Hey, that's yeah, badass. Cool. Nolan said, way to pay it forward. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, Aww. I did read something about that actually, and I never really happened yet. But yeah, there we go. Appreciate that. Okay, so I think we're good um, with the stencil. We got enough stencil in there. What we're gonna do is um, try to connect these together because what what's gonna happen is the flames are gonna kind of like roll off of one into another. So we can take this. And follow. All of the stencil marks we made. She said, only thing is, is make sure you guys have your settings set to accept the gift. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. Why would you not? <laughs> you know, accept gifts. Yes, okay. Okay, now, see, I kind of sputtered a little bit right there. It may be a little hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and thin this out just a little bit more. So, you know how we're talking about that AMF bike? Yeah. Paint job, I mean. Yeah. He says, um, so if you picked your Billard's Falls, the Orange 5 Fall, I can get that almost single stage saturation with a candy over white instead of using a pigment? Yep, you can. Yeah, better option in my opinion. Oh boy, I did something really wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I don't come in now. Hey. Hey. Okay, it's a little smoother now. There we go. Once again, I'm kind of connecting oh, all these together. Yeah. I was a little sloppy there. Okay. That looks like a wicked ghost thing. Yeah, you can, you'll see a lot of stuff in this. It's just, I'm not doing anything on purpose, trust me. Once again, I'm just kind of, once I get things connected, I'm just kind of just uh, fogging it in again, trying to push it back by layering um just a, a really thin layer of white kind of like what smoke would do you know all right back of my stencil while I have this white. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen up a couple of these edges. That one wisps around there. These I, I am kind of just layering right on top of where the stencil was. Just further refining that shape. Especially the ones I like. So I feel like there needs to be more right here. Like, there we go. Once again, looks like there needs, needs to be a little bit more. But instead of doing this same shape right there, we're going to flip it around. Create another little hole right there. So now it looks like we have everything kind of is getting smooth. We just don't have a bunch of random shapes. So you lay some shapes down, you connect them, um, and then you can kind of refine that. So that's looking pretty good. I'm not going to do any more yet. So I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to hit it with the gold. 
Somebody asked, how do you feel about people trying to paint designs you post? I can normally copy after seeing it, but didn't know how you feel about it for learning though, not claiming it as mine. Well, first of all, I don't really own metal flake designs. I don't own patterns. I don't own lace designs. That's none of that's like, nobody owns that stuff. So I say, go for it. It doesn't bother me one bit, really. There's been people that have painted the exact same thing I teach. So that's, it's different. You know, some people will paint the exact same thing that I'm painting and, I'm, and that's fine. But um, eventually you'll learn your own style. You'll learn something that you like that you do a little bit different. Uh, but don't rush it. Just do what we're doing. If you, if you can't think of anything, just do, just do what we're doing the best you can. I said, like, it's your custom work. Ha ha, but nice. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They're like, it is your custom work, so it is yours, but he's like, they're oh. like, all right, nice. Oh, yeah, sometimes I have to look twice. I'm like, did I paint that bike? And I'm like, not quite, but pretty close. But no, 100%, I'm good with it. And if anybody says that that looks too much like their bike, I don't know what to tell. That's nobody really owns that style. The seventies owns it really. All right. So I have the gold. And the nice thing about the gold is we can layer that everywhere because it is the lightest color. We're going to warm up this white. Now, I did talk about how these colors are going to mix together once they're clear coated. Now, when you do this, you're going to want more contrast of yellow or gold um, because, once again, that's all that gold is going to turn into an orange. Maybe in the center where I didn't really hit it too much with the orange, it, it'll stay pretty yellowish gold. But for the most part, this is all going to kind of um, blend darker. Which is fine because that's going to look great because what we we kind of want it to all kind of mesh together once we clear it. And so it. Just remember that you if you want it to stand out and be really bright, it needs to be super bright when you, before you clear it. Brandon said, I think it's more of an honorable thing. Always show homage to your teachers. What was that audible? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, honorable. Oh, honorable. <laughs> <laughs> honorable. I will need that too. Well, you do. Yeah, I do. Kevin said, I love trying to copy what Adam does. It's how, it's how nice. It's how I learn. Maybe is what he's saying. Yeah. And it's flattering. She's grits and Nyquil said, would I be supporting? Damn it. It went away. Hold on. I got to go find it now. Okay, we're going to go back to red real quick because I do want to darken these up a little bit more. Found it. Cheese Grits and Michael said, would I be supporting the channel more to buy product or send a super chat? You can do whatever you want. Hey, you know what would support it the most is uh, buy the product on Amazon and then uh, can't really ask for a review. But um, if you want to post pictures in a review and show people what you've done, or just a review in general, that's the best thing you could do really. Um, Cause those reviews help a lot. And then it shows people what can be done. And that's really helpful too. If you, if you are posting pictures, but yeah, I appreciate either way. Dude, I really appreciate anything you guys do. It's uh, nothing's expected for sure, but it's awesome. So thank you. Yeah. Whatever you guys want to do. The sick piece said you have gold base coat under the stencil, right? I've already yes. forgot that out loud. <laughs> yes, correct. You could we could have left this we could have laid down the stencil over black and we would have a completely different look. What's the minimum needle size for the limeline primer surfacer? Um you can always reduce the surfacer with urethane reducer and you could spray it out of it as small as a 1.0. Um, but if you're going to spray it out of 
straight out of like how it's mixed with no urethane reducer, then a 1.4 or bigger would be optimal. How do you pre prevent bleeding of the candy colors? Um, in between the candies, you can layer down another clear base coat. But remember, we have a stencil here, so we don't want to oversaturate that so much that it gets super thick and bridges over this stencil. When we peel it, it could could peel the paint. Um, you know, because we got black base coat. We got all this candy that's starting to build up over the top of this. So what was the question again? <laughs> How do you prevent it from bleeding? Oh, um, you really don't, in my opinion. You use it to your advantage later. Because we know this is going to bleed. Um, we're going to, we're going to be okay with it because it, when it bleeds, it's, it's not going to be like, it's not going to soak it all up towards the same color. We're just going to lose a little bit of contrast. So we paint it over contrast. So this is a little brighter than what I would imagine and how I would want it. This is pretty bright, you know, um, I would rather have this toned down and I know that's going to happen once I clear it. Uh, the other way would be to, before you, when you, when you go to clear coat it, put a bunch of dust coats on top. And then that will help create a barrier that will um, kind of protect the next wet coats going over top. You could do that as well. Okay, I think we're good here. That's, uh, that's what we're going to do for the, the fire. Because we do have some more stuff to do here. We got some root beer brown. We got some stencils. We're going to see how all this looks together. Can you recommend a tape that's flexible for curves that won't bleed? I paint a lot of RC bodies, so it's tedious but sucks when you pull off the tape and the lines have bleed through on them that yeah i use i only use the lime line fine line tape um but maybe you need to uh with a back end of a razor blade or a tape removal blade you can press down your your lines before you paint but yeah tough thing with rc cars because they're so small Are you running anything through the airbrush to clean it before the different color? Uh, yes, just lacquer thinner. Okay, so brown candy. I do have a video on brown candy. You wanna? We're gonna go ahead and play you a video real quick on how I, I mixed up the brown candy. Basically, we're mixing uh, the three primary colors together to make this brown candy. But uh, we do have a short video on it. It's only a minute or two. I'll get this mixed up real quick. That way you can see how it's done. And then we'll get to painting the rest of this. See it there? This one? Yeah. Okay.
All right, looks like that will give you an idea how that was done. We're going to go ahead and spray that brown candy here in just a second. I did realize that I did want to accent um, some of these lines with a 16th inch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Tyler said, have you ever worked with a paint company that supplied you or did wholesale? And would you ever consider doing that with Limelight? Uh, yes, actually, I do. I, I do plan on doing that later on in the future. And not quite yet. Um, I think I got kind of off on that one. Look at that. It's really skinny. Oh, close. But yeah, we're, we're, we're close to something on that. I meant close together on the tapes, but I guess that oh. answers. <laughs> there point. you go. <laughs> Sean said, the black candy is game changer. I picked some up and gave it a try. It looks great. The flakes sparkle, sparkle right through it. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something I've been looking for for a long time, and we were able to find it. So, yeah. <clears throat> John said, "What's the difference between a primer and a sealer?" Uh, a sealer is mostly going to be like an epoxy. It's meant to seal up the the metal, um, and then uh, basically keep it from corrosion and stuff like that. And then you can go straight to paint, or uh, a sandable primer will build up primer works different um, usually it's not as capable of taking care of like uh, corrosion issues and stuff like that although it does help but not like what epoxy does but you can get away with just using the sandable urethane primer over top of bare metal but if you do want it to be bulletproof the best thing to do would to lay down that epoxy primer and then if needed lay down the uh, sandable primer over top of that the best thing to do is if you had body work and it's on bare metal, epoxy it before you even do the the, the bondo or the body filler. Because then you've got that layer that's protecting the metal. A lot of times that body filler, it can hold moisture and uh, cause corrosion underneath that body filler, uh, causing issues down the road. V said, just use your crushed glass. I wet sanded with 600 after three coats of clear last night. It's not as sparkly anymore, even after re-clearing it. Should I have wet sanded? Uh, yeah, so if you have, is it, is it, you have to make sure it's really smooth. If it has any kind of texture to it, it's not going to look as uh, sparkly. Carrie gave another gift membership to somebody. Not sure who. Ass. Tyler looks like welcome to the family. That's nice. How nice of you. The sick piece said root beer candy is my favorite, especially over spun leaf, silver leaf. Oh yeah, that was great. I think what did I do that on? Yeah. The toaster. Mm, no, that was orange. Hmm. Got one more right here. Mm. Are you having a Black Friday sale? Yes. Um, in fact, a lot of stuff is actually already on sale. Um, paint guns are on sale. There's two paint guns, the Pro Gun and the 1.3. Uh, those are both on sale. And uh, the candies are all on sale. But yeah, we're going to do some pretty deep discounts on the, the tape and the flake, those consumables that you guys use a lot of. Do I want to do this one? Yeah. Nolan ahead. said the fire looks nice. Yeah, thank you. You can sit by it and get warm. <laughs> I'm, I'm super hot right now. That's probably why. <laughs> Let me put this thing out. I'm sweating. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Let's go. Let's see if I can get this. Pretty can, sharp corner right there. There we go. Can you prime over adhesion promoter with plastics or no need to use primer straight to paint? Um, on plastic? Nah, I wouldn't even do primer. Adhesion promoter, straight to paint. It's better to keep those uh, materials thin, especially on plastic. 
because usually when you have the most uh, problems on, with plastic is when it's the paint is layered really thick. I just spit all of them. I said that. Laying <laughs> it on thick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and that's when the problems happen, really. Uh, Cheese Grits and Nyquil said you did it on the dog bowl, and you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dog bowl. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Because that's when you did the Louis Vuitton? Yeah. Yeah, I need to. I haven't even finished that dog bowl sitting back there. I need to clear it one more time. Okay, so hopefully those edges stay down. I've kind of pulled pretty hard around that, but it looks good. Let's trim these. Like we have some adhesion problems right there i uh this panel is is the same panel i painted what was it last week the flames i just painted right over it so i may see right there pulled a little bit of the paint shoot and a little bit right there too okay we are good everything's trimmed up double check our edges right here Okay. Are you going to fix the line on the left? Which is there's a line on the left? Well, he probably means that tight corner that you one? did. Yeah. I'll fix it. Is there any way I can find product data sheets and SDS for line line products? I'm supposed to have them in our shop. Um, yes. Somebody did email me. I don't know if it was him or not. Um, you can email me and I can get those to you. Someone says, my eye keeps going to the dent. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I see it too. To the what? The dent. Oh, right here? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I gouged that out. It's actually smooth now. Can't even really feel it. The thing is, is when you lay down a, um, a metallic over a, a, an issue like that, whether it's smooth, you can clear coat it all you want. It's still going to show up. It's going to look exactly like a dent, even though it's smooth. If you're doing black base coat, different story. It'll actually hide it. Okay, we're good to go here. We're going to do um, some rubber brown. That's what we're going to make the graphics, and then we'll edge it out with uh, a black candy, most likely. Still trying to figure it out. Okay, so we have that brown candy right here. Carrie said it's already looking awesome. Let's see, is this dark enough? We probably need to make that a little bit darker. This is probably more of what we're looking for. There we go. All right, we're just gonna tint this edge. Give it a nice blend.
we don't need to get too crazy because we are going to edge this out with a either a black candy. Um, we might do a black base coat because I do have a couple issues here and then actually right here where it peeled. Um, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll hit it with a black base coat or both. Make sure that's stuck down there. In one of your past videos, where can the press folder you used on the aluminum foil be found? Uh, you can find those on the Amazon affiliate site. So most of my videos and even my Instagram will have a um, an Amazon link. And it's on that link. You'll just have to look for it there. I think it's in the art supply section. Mr. Fabricator said, let's give away some products. Let's do it. We're ready. Ryan said, I have a plastic bumper I sanded with 80 grit and 220. I have some dents and gouges in it. I'm going to epoxy it. Is it better to bondo before or after epoxy? You can do either way. Um, it will work. But if you want it to be bulletproof, you would epoxy first, then scuff it down. Then you do your body filler over that if you want to be bulletproof because then you're sealing that metal off before you're before anything else is there trapping any kind of moisture but but you know i don't know it not i don't think everybody goes the extra mile like that so it's really up to you nolan said it would take me two days to get all the tape laid right oh uh, this one's pretty easy i bet you i bet maybe one day <laughs> Dave said, thank you again for making these great videos. It's a learning experience, a fun way to spend Thursdays, and a great community. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, let's give something away, uh, and then we'll go ahead and lay some stencils on top of this, huh? Well, I'm going to finish reading these first, and then I will, so they don't get lost. Okay. I think you missed the tape trimming up high on the left. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one right there. <clears throat> Why do you shade your edges before laying your graphics only to edge them again? Um, I'm not really, I'm not really concentrating on the edges. I'm trying to get the blend out farther than what I would. So I'm going to edge it only like half of that distance. Travis so it's like a pre-edge edge. And no, you really don't have to. You could, you can get away without doing all that. Travis said, crazy how fast he is with shadows. I'm so slow doing mine okay i'm almost to the bottom okay where do you get the demo hoods um uh, there's the smaller demo hoods you can get them on limeline and i am getting these hoods they're just going to be a tiny bit smaller they're not going to be here and almost the same height here we go all right good luck guys What do they win? Uh, this one will win the uh, tape and the flake. Who we got here? Whiskey Zombie. We got some tape and flake coming your way. We'll do another one, too. Maybe we should do a stencil pack. Got it there? No. This. <laughs> I can't. This little. Okay, I'm wrestling with this too, so don't even worry. This little two handed thing is driving me freaking crazy. You got a mouse? I don't have a mouse and I hate it. Somebody said something. Crafting's Custom Paint said, Man, that's looking sweet. Just finished with all of Leaf have on the water slide left. Oh, nice getting it done okay spin the wheel again yeah let's spin it again
Checker mom. Win yourself a, uh, what was this one? Stencil pack. Stencil yeah, pack. good job, yeah. Yeah, you'll win these. Um, we have a bunch of different stencils. We have these honeycomb. You also get the fish scale, the dragon scale. I think there's like five of them total. So you just won all those. Four. Hopefully you can use them, four of them. Well, we do have the other pack too. We'll do all of them. Oh, the multi-pack too? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So I got the stencil laid down, as you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm just fading it this way. I kind of want it just to fade off and just disappear. All right, hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Oh yeah. You don't realize how much it does until you pull the stencil. Swampy Badass. said, I bought one of those inflatable booths. Oh, you did? Badass. It'll let me know how it goes. You setting it up indoors or outdoors? I'm actually got to do another video on, I got a different booth that they sent me. I want to, I got to set it up. It's getting kind of cold and I don't have room in my, in my shop. Let's see the layout smooth. There we go. Got it. I'm going to do the same thing here. He's, he's using it for outside. He said, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it comes with sandbags and stuff like that. You can fill up. A couple people said to let them know how you like it, Swampy. They've been looking at getting one. Yeah. Um, some of them, they need that extra fan to hook up and it, and it creates a negative pressure in there. So you may want to look at that. I do have one here. So if you don't know what it is or what it looks like, let me know because... I still have mine in the box. I got to check it out. Okay, cool. We got that. Um, so we do still have the uh, positive part of the stencil here. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's, let's see. Maybe we'll do those. We'll probably just leave as a fade. This one and this one. So yeah, so once again, you can use both parts of these stencils. So we're gonna go ahead and use this outer side. And you're gonna be able to see exactly what that looks like. Once I find my tape, there it is. AJ said, what's up brother? Sell me that stencil or teach me how to make on my Cricut. Well, I thought, well, can you heat blow, can you heat the blow up booth? Uh, can you, you can not really when it's outside. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting any kind of a heat, anything in there. Uh, but if it's indoors, you can heat up the outs, the indoors, and then it just sucks it through. AJ said, sell them that stencil firebird one. I think. Oh, the firebird one. Yeah. You can just do that. I don't know. Does he mean this? I don't know. Or teach me how to make it on my cricket. So maybe he's talking about the firebird one let me know aj what he, what you're meaning john said i love my inflatable booth which one did you get swampy and roman said i have a tube fan set up and love it yeah tube fan you can just set up a tube fan in your garage really too depends on he said the honeycomb oh yeah the honeycomb you can get those yeah you can buy them yeah tons so of you them. can you can make them on your cricket too Swampy said, I have two booths. One is my wife's garage for her new trike. Now. When you airbrush, do you need to protect yourself from the fumes from the paint? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep, you should be wearing a respirator. thousand percent. Coming from a nurse. Most definitely. Swampy's waiting for a warm day to set it up, I think. Travis said marbling would look good on the edge panels. Hmm, that's a good idea. Oh, we might do that actually. Ernie said I've had my inflatable booth for four years and love it, but I do recommend getting the new filter system they have for them. Yeah, they do have some some new stuff. Uh, the, they have that tube fan though that cooks too. That's pretty important. 
John said, definitely need a second fan. Yeah, it needs a second fan. With that second fan, it, I bet it would work great. I haven't used it yet, though. But you can get away. I don't know. It leaves a lot of fumes in there if not having that other tube fan. More than I like. And then not only that, it's, it's, it just kind of sits in there and it'll lay on your project. So once it's all done and dry, it's kind of rough. It has like an overspray feel to it. Someone said, I'd like to know about the Firebird stencil. Uh, yeah, Firebird. So you can just, um, on the on the Cricut cutter, you can just take a picture off the internet, um, like I said before, and you can make it right on that Cricut cutter pretty easy through the Design Space app. So you could go all the way. Um, I like to fade it, fade it that way, fade it this way. Do whatever you want, though. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. We have tape removal plate over there. Somewhere. It's been a while since I've seen it. You always ask. We might usually find you one. Found one? There you go. Thank you. Okay, we'll lay down the same pattern over here. paint on there. How long do you wait before wet sanding and buffing finish one spot panel clear? Mm, uh, I like to wait 24 hours minimum, but mon no longer than like three days. one. Oh, stretching that one out. a little crappy right there but we're, we're only spraying we're not spraying that much so it's not gonna really matter since we're going in this direction and spraying this way uh we're missing one there but it's okay it'd be a little different removal blade Ooh. 
Do you think you could do a new video on wet sand and buffing after a finished paint job? And maybe also one on primer, base coat, and flake before you start on a fuel tank? Uh, yeah, I actually plan on doing um, Those are the awesome. primer one. Yeah, even the wet sand and buff, that's on our list too. Yeah, we do have we do have one of those. It's kind of old though. Same techniques though, I'm sure. I haven't changed anything. Do you use the stencil paper for Cricut or really any one that sticks? Uh, no, you're going to want to use a removable masking. And we're using the Oracle uh, 631. And it's a uh, it's an actual masking film that's meant to be um, removed and not leave any kind of a residue. So very, very important because some of these films are meant to be um, permanent. So if you pull them off, it's just going to leave like a bunch of of adhesive, which is, it would be terrible. Donald's, terrible if that happens. Donald's, and I like to stick my vinyl mask to the front of my t-shirt before putting it on the vinyl. Helps with releasing the sticker. Yeah, I do that too. It's a good idea. The only problem with that is sometimes you get little hairs that will like, uh, I don't do it if I'm leafing because then it gets the little hairs on the edges. Let's screw up your glue and your leaf. Adam Willow's mutt is eating uh, apple cider cider jelly beans and is wondering if you ever do a pattern. Bah, I lost the question. Then make a puzzle out of it. Huh. Not really. I have not thought of that. Nope. Now I have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this way it's longer. It takes, you gotta like pull each one of these off. It takes a little bit longer. Will we be live on Thanksgiving night? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we probably will be the night before. We'll make up for it. And when is Thanksgiving? Next week? Are you asking me? Sorry. Yeah, I am asking. Yes. Okay. Next Thursday. Yeah, we'll probably be next Wednesday. And we are going to start on a uh, another tank. And I think we're going to do like, I think I might do a, a wrestler, WWF wrestler theme. I'm not sure which one yet. Uh, image transfer, possibly. We may do a painting, too. We'll see. Carrie said, oh, if he is, I want to see him paint a turkey that caught on fire in the oven. That's probably what's going to happen. What did she try to say? I burned the turkey? Uh, no. I say <laughs> I burned the turkey. Oh, no, you don't touch a single thing. I cut a turkey. I cut it sometimes. No. Do you? Not really. No, you don't. <laughs> it grosses me out that I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Cutting a turkey is pretty gross, actually. Big Mike, happy birthday next Thursday. And happy Thanksgiving, too. Thanksgiving birthday? Yeah. It's kind of like hmm. Tina. Her birthday is sometimes on Thanksgiving. Wow. Showing your age, calling it WWF. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Oh, it's something, something else now. WWE Raw. I actually watched something on. Uh, what was it? I hope you do some marbling. I'd love to see it on this color. Normally, it's on dark colors. Uh yeah. So I will do some some marbling. How? Uh, probably with the same root beer brown. That's gonna look really good because it's kind of a lighter color. Man, you guys can stick with me pulling these things off. Holy crap, it takes me forever. Is there a piece of plastic around here you can gather up? I just need a... Plastic? Oh, there's one right here. There's one right here. Maybe we'll do it the other way, too, where we lay down, we spray the... 
plastic long ways because you can marbleize a lot of different ways and it'll be a different effect. Um, the way I did it last time, I just kind of like sprayed it right on the plastic and I stamped it. Maybe I'll do it a little bit different. Kind of the same method, a little bit different. Shady Vito said, Carrie, he's doing a burning burning chicken right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> not much difference. Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, I'm old school too, said Swampy. What's the difference when you mix the candy with inner coat rather than clear base? Same thing. The inner coat and clear base coat is basically the same thing. Interchangeable words. Yeah, they call it binder too. So. Undertaker and Kane Graveyard Lightning Bolts Fire. So many cool things you could do with either of them. Oh, I know. There's some cool characters. I like Macho Man myself. I have painted Macho Man before. But I like the... Uh, Who were the two dudes that were the brothers that had their shirts off? The Bushwhacker brothers? Is that what they were? I don't think it was... Well, I mean, maybe. I think... And they were, I think, brothers or something? And they... I think it was Bushwhackers. I don't know. Someone tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I swear my brothers what I swear yeah, that's... There is Bushwhackers. I know that. I've seen Bushwhackers. But I, weren't they two guys? Two brothers? I don't know. They'd always tag team. Probably. I did okay. a graphite drawing, graphite drawing on 14 by 14 board of a woman warrior with a spaceship in the background and made it a puzzle. Well, that's cool. Nice. Hmm. I might have to do this the, the ordinary way because if not, I'm going to have to tape a bunch of stuff up. So yeah. easy enough. It was the Bushwhackers. You got it right. Yeah. I knew it. You should name this Burnt Reynolds. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The Hardy Brothers oh, or the Steiner Brothers. That's pretty wet. Say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the Bushwhackers Brothers. And they were savages, I think. Like, they didn't, they sucked from what I, from what I can remember. I just remember they always cheated because they come in and oh, yeah. tag team. They called them the, they called those guys the hill. The what? They, they called them the hill. That's the, that means you're the bad guy. Actually, it was something like uh, Chris or no, uh, what's the, the Rock? The Rock was on Joe Rogan. That's why. That's what I was thinking of. Oh. That's why I decided to go with uh, WWF. Cheese grits and Michael said I met China once. Fell in love with her too. Rest what? In peace, China. No way. Can you use inner coat for metal flake? Um, yes, it's just going to put, put on more texture. I like how this one turned out. This one turned out pretty. I'm going to have to actually make this one a little darker to match that. There we go. Okay. A little more here. Whoa. 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 Sorry about that, guys. That's. Carrie says, I call my oldest daughter Giblet because she was born on the 24th. So close to Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior with his crazy colors. Oh, there you go. Ultimate Warrior is a good one. I might actually do that one. Because I've already done much of it, man. Okay, so I have some uh, black, black candy. Earthquake. Oh, Earthquake's another good one. Okay, we're just going to blend some black candy around, just aiming for the tape and blending it into the center. What color would be best to marble over black? Um, you can use like a uh, charcoal gray. I think that would look great. Or you can paint it charcoal gray and then marbleize it black. This is looking great, said Dave. Austin Payne said, my family has owned a professional wrestling organization my entire life. No way. I don't care for it anymore, but it's cool to look back on. My pops was into the hardcore side of it. Yeah. Yeah, I listened to that podcast with The Rock today, and he talked a lot about how his family 
was involved in. Um, like I think his dad was one of the main dudes with Vince McMahon and uh, a couple others. Andre the Giant, he was huge. To say the least. Ricky Steamboat, Mankind. Man, it's bringing back memories. It's amazing how good that looks and how fast it was done. How long ha have you been Hacksaw, Hacksaw uh, Jim Duggan. <laughs> remember that dude? No. Whoa! Not remember that Whoa! one. He was cross eyed. Nope, I don't remember that guy. Oh, he was insane. How long have you been spraying for? Uh, almost two hours now. Rock talking about today. Yeah, I think so. Rocky Johnson, Superfly, Sting. Do you remember any of those guys? Uh, um, no, I don't actually. Not. It must have been like C list. Jake the Snake. Oh yeah, yeah Jake the Snake. That'd be a good one. I remember Jake the Snake. Man, I try to think of like, because I need to pair. I need to pair a wrestler up with a paint job. So, like a, uh, you Superfly. know, Macho Man, and then what was the other one? Superfly Snucka, hacks. That was awesome. He carried around a two by four. Yeah, I mean, it could have like a wood grain for, for the uh, hacksaw. You know. My mom used to party with Lonnie Maine and all the Portland, Oregon wrestlers. Really? Oh. Come on, you remember Hacksaw? He always came in the ring with a two by four. Maybe I do remember. Now that you guys say two by four. Yeah, he would beat people with a two by four. Rowdy Piper. Oh yeah, Piper. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. Oh, I remember that name. Ric Flair. Jesse the Body. Jesse the Body Ventura. Now he's a cop, right? Or a, or a governor. Well, I've gotten to meet a lot of the old guys. Have you ever heard of Abdullah the Butcher? Hmm. I don't think so. Have I? I don't know. Cheese Grits and Michael said, I remember when Rowdy Piper cracked Jimmy Superfly Snuka over the head with a coconut during Piper's pit. <laughs> Carrie said, a lot of wrestlers live near me. John Cena's Florida house is like seven minutes from my house. Wow. Once seen Eddie Guerri uh, Guerrero at Walmart before he passed away. So many live in the Tampa area. Superstar Billy Graham, the animal. That guy always ate the... Oh, yeah. He's an ex-governor. Wouldn't he like, he would like chew off the foam. Ew. Like off the edges. <laughs> Gross. Rocky Johnson was the Rock's father. Yeah, Rocky Johnson. That's right. Yeah, if you guys are into wrestling, you should listen to that podcast. All right, we're just about got this. I'm going to hit the edges with a regular black instead of a candy. Because we did have some issues with, I didn't prep it very good on the edges, and I want to make sure that uh, that uh, those little errors are going to be uh, hidden. So we're not going to be able to hide any of the er errors with a candy because all it's a transparent. Okay. Okay. Well, Colgan lives in Florida. Triple H lives near me. Everyone sees him around. Really? Wow, that's crazy. Kane is the nose down in the Goldberg. Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik. And he had a buddy, Nikolai Volkov. Oh my. Russian buddy. Y'all, just imagine this in your little underwear wrestling in the living room, aren't you? <laughs> that's what my brother used to do. <laughs> I don't know if that's kosher or not, but that's what they did. That's how I know it. I used to hate to have to watch this. I'd rather watch... Oh, I can't remember the show with it. 
90210 or something like that rather than this. Jar junkyard dog. Oh, junkyard dog. Bulldog Bob Brown. George the Animal Steel. I'd rather watch Mr. Belvedere over this. <laughs> I love Mr. Belvedere. So oh, why? I don't know why. That's such a weird show. I always wanted to watch that instead of this, instead of wrestling. Or... Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Love that show. Scotty Too Hotty. Sting had some cool colors before he joined NWO. Cactus Jack. Bret Hart. Oh, I remember Bret Hart. Bret Hart would be cool too. Put like a uh, metal flake with hearts. Wow. Yeah, you can just think of like, because usually, you know, you see the character, maybe do an image transfer. I might do an image transfer on top of flake on this next one. I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. I want to try new stuff. So, um, but yeah. Okay. I think we're just about out of here. I'm going to hit this one right here. We're going to pull this tape and reveal. We got going on here. Tina said, We've been watching Who's the Boss lately. <laughs> I love that show. I can't remember. There was a show I used to like, Tina, and she always she had like a flower hat or I can't remember. My dad always talked about it and I can't remember what it was called. You'd have to run home from school so you could watch it. A flower hat? Like was it a girl? It was a girl. Was yeah. she a robot? No. Oh. She was a girl. And I think she had blonde or like light brown hair. And either she, her name was a flower or she wore a flower. Like. Oh, pep, uh, Peppy. Huh? Uh, Punky Brewster. No. Punky. That's no? what my dad used to say too. And that's not it. No. Nope. Oh. Lighter hair. I can't remember her. Okay, well. Blossom. Oh, it. my gosh. Who in the hell said that? <laughs> Dude, I've been. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? Who said it first? That's the show. Roman. <laughs> Roman got it. Roman got it. I have been. That has been freaking years. I've been thinking of that. But my dad used to always tell me it was Punky Brewster. And I told him, no, I didn't like her. She was a dork. I like the other girl, and it was awesome, but I could never remember the name. Punky wasn't a dork. Yeah, she was. I didn't like her. I liked I was Team Blossom, not Punky. Oh, my heck. John knew it. Wompy knew it. Travis knew it. Oh, my gosh. Where were you guys years ago, and I was trying to tell my dad. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Well, they figured out a lifelong problem. Speaking of problems, is I had a little bit of a paint pill right there. Tina said that small world is a robot girl. Yeah, that's right. No, small wonder. I guess small wonder. Have you ever used sizing glue to do a different color flake so you aren't flaking the entire project? Mm, not really. That Could you do that? Yes, you could do that, actually. I haven't tried that. That's very interesting. I may try that now. <laughs> but it does leave a pretty thick edge, though. Oh, I'll give that a shot. I think I have seen people do that and never really tried it. Oh, my heck. The Killer Capricorn. I think you're right. He said, it's Amy from Bing Big Bang Theory. She was Blossom when she was little. And I, I yeah, I can totally see it. I love that show. So cool. I didn't never I didn't even know that was a thing. I'll show you. Maybe you'll know it. I know Big Bang Theory, but Land of the Lost was King. Remember the show Alf? Yeah, you painted Oh yeah, Alf. I painted Alf. Yeah. We used to like Alf. Yeah, Alf was alright. He's kind of yeah. Cats, right? <laughs> That's what Gary just said. Yeah, he ate <laughs> cats without or wanted to. He was always trying to eat the family cat.
Just about got it here. Mork and Mindy was also a good show. My dad used to make me watch that. Used with... to make you? Well, he used to yeah, like I'm really to... upset about that. Huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. He used to like to watch it, and I didn't, like, what are they even saying? And he's like, just watch it a little longer with um, the funny guy, Miss Doubtfire guy. What was his name? Uh... What's his name? Jack Nicholas? No. <laughs> no. He died. What's his name? Uh, He's the missed that fire guy. He was that Mork and Mindy when he was younger, I believe. Oh, yeah, he was. Robin Williams. Yeah. Dang. Why is it just on the tip of my tongue and I can't think? Good job, guys. <laughs> Or do you remember when we used to have to watch MASH? Someone said I used to watch MASH. I hated MASH. That was the worst. Al Bundy was king. I still miss the cartoon Thundercats. Oh, yeah, that was great. Harry said, then your dad comes in and sits down at the TV and you find yourself either watching this old house for the next two hours. Oh, God. He'd always see you and watch the History Channel. Which I would like it now, but I'm like, no. <laughs> Willow's Mutt said, in the Navy, we used to take a break to watch one of the soap operas. <laughs> Days of our lives. I swear you could miss that for like five years and it's, no, it's the exact same place. The show is in the exact same place. It's just a different issue, huh? No, it's all the same issues. <laughs> oh, different person? <laughs> no, I swear they had the same issues over and over. But I used to watch that in the daytime when the kids were in school. Austin said, we need to do a Christmas story, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Home Alone, etc. style lives the month of December. Let's middle play a lake lamp. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds cool. <laughs> I wonder where I can find a lake lamp at. Get Smart, Greatest American he Hero, Dragnet, Nanu Nanu. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what Mork and Mindy always said. Cheers was the worst. Oh, we went to Cheers. Good, we went to the bar Cheers. I didn't mind Cheers. Airwolf, Nova, Mr. Ed, Talking Horse, Saved by the Bell, Full House. Yeah, love those shows too. MASH was on the same time as Dukes of Hazard. I had to fight with my dad and never won. Hated MASH. <laughs> wow, we got some paint filling problems here. So, um, let's, see. let's see if I can get this to stop here. I love Lucy. Wings. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm saving this one. Jeez, Chris and Michael said, I got kind of leg lamp I would donate. Not the same, but it's got legs. Laugh out loud. <laughs> All right, well. Huh, that's too bad. We had some paint peel on the edge here. Um, when I went to base coat this, I obviously did not um, scuff the edges down good enough. I still got some. Uh, hold on, I got one more. I was hoping that those little errors would just be contained to those couple of areas, but it looks like it was worse than I thought. We got paint pill here, this edge right here. And look right here. That's unfortunate. Um, once again, when you go to prep this stuff and you sand it smooth, you need to make sure you're hitting these edges good enough. Um, because what it was is I clear coated this, went to sand it down, didn't hit the edges quite good enough. Um, and I actually cleared this earlier today, causing these, these problems right there, right there. And then that problem up there also right here. 
It's too bad. Okay, hopefully nothing happens here on the bird because we need to pull that off next. So, Travis says it looks like it needs bolt holes now. <laughs> yeah, all over. I'm glad it's just practice though. Let's make sure, hopefully we don't have any problems with the bird. Miami Vice <clears throat> made me want a pet alligator. Did they have one of those? <laughs> they must have. Airwolf, Bonanza. Oh, Airwolf was the best. Green Acres. Sigmund the Sea Monster on the Hair Bear Bunch. Oh, the Care Bear Bunch. The HR Puffin stuff. Leaf it. Where you got those things. Yeah. Open. Well, actually, the way I would fix it would be um, to clear it and then I would. Re actually repaint those edges. I did rush this thing when I went to uh, try to get it done and ready today. So, yeah, it's my bad. This panel was actually, um, it was cleared with a, with a matte finish, which was a little deceiving because when I go to scuff it up, it looks like it's scuffed, but it's actually a matte finish. And I guess I just didn't hit it hard enough. Fraggle Rock. I Dream of Genie. I used to love that show. And Fraggle, Wa Fraggle Rock was one of my favorites, too. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You like Fraggle Rock? Yeah. I'm more like the, the Muppets, I think, than the Fragile Rock. Fraggle. Fraggle Rock, yeah. Okay, so far so good on this. No, no paint peeling here. Rob just jumped on and said, what up, Ashley and Adam? Hey, what up? What's up, Rob? Vanderslice? Yep. Oh, what's up, dude? Missed you at SEMA this year. Yeah, we did miss you at SEMA this year. The Great Space Coaster. Who, I, who else liked the Mod Squad? Hmm. Tool Time. Yeah, wasn't that Tool Time, the Tim Man Taylor? Yep. I like that show, too. That one was good. Mod Squad, I don't remember that. The Magic School Bus. That was good. Oh, yeah. Home Improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was called. I knew what you meant by tool time. I was going to say that didn't sound right, but. <laughs> but it does. It did because you knew exactly what I was talking about. I knew what you are talking about. You talking about oh, huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wow, you people are old. Not, <laughs> not young like me, of course, Jay not said. <laughs> uh, he's all I'm clueless here. <laughs> Bob Ross, Barnaby Jones, Knight Rider. Oh, Knight Rider. Well, what's the, we didn't even say the one that this is about? Wasn't this uh, the Bandit? The Bandit. So I think someone did say the Bandit. Uh, e Man. Every New Year, right after the ball drops, they give the honeymooners marathon. I don't sleep till the sun comes up. <laughs> the honeymooners? No, I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't know that either. Chitty Chitty Bing Bing. Magnum P.I. DuckTales. That was Adam's favorite. Oh, yeah. Schoolhouse Rock. Rocky and Bullwinkle. I just love the... House on the Prairie. I just love the theme song to DuckTales. Yeah, you did. Captain Kangaroo. Over and over. 
Barney Miller, the A-Team. Airwolf was cooler than Knight Rider. Partridge Family. Gunsmoke. Hello, Rudy. Gilligan's Island. Captain Kangaroo. Mr. Rogers. We just went and visited Mr. Rogers Memorial. Yep, we did. That Pittsburgh. Was, yeah, that was pretty cool. They actually have, like, him, a big sculpture, and then he talks and tells stories out loud right there. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Except for, like, a, I think a homeless person, like, puked right next puked to this. on his shoe. I'm like, <laughs> That's gross. Well, this is like, you what the hell, man? You can't it. go just a couple steps away off Mr. Roger's shoe? Come on. He probably went a mine. Oh, he's always changing his shoes, so. He was. We puked on him. Speed Racer. Soap, chips, the monsters. Rescue 911, Unsolved Mysteries. I mean, I think I got this. Come on. This last little stencil's not coming up. There we go. Only the scratch it a little bit. Any Philly peeps grew up watching Captain Noah? Facts of Life. I don't remember Facts of Life. Oh, you don't remember Facts of Life? Okay. No. All right, that's looking good. That's uh, besides a couple of errors we had um, right here. We're not going to show those anymore. You already seen them. But here we go. You can see how the transparents just make that fire kind of come alive. You can always do more, like, um, after the stencils is, is pulled, you can run a little bit of fire up in the center of this to kind of meet up in there to kind of blend the two together. Uh, but I feel like that looks pretty good. Um, once it's all clear-coated, I'll probably go ahead and I'll put this back in the clear and then fix these edges. Because it's as simple as just getting enough clear coat on it, um, sanding it smooth, hitting it with that same gold, and then you could tape that off and then and then re-hit re the graphics there. But very unfortunate that happened. But uh, yeah, you rush things, so it's just kind of the way it goes. Like all this too, as well as will will all shine back up um, once it's hit with clear coat. So, all right. Well, ho hope you guys learn a few things. You want to hit that will one more time? Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll go ahead and let's do another candy pack, another tri pack. These guys are still bringing up lots of awesome shows I forgot about. It's awesome. It's fun to think back at that. Ethan Kratz, congratulations. You won yourself a candy pack. Just going to email us at uh, info at limeline.com, limelinepaintsupply.com, and... Uh, We'll get that to you. All right, you want to make that big so I can... So we got the marbleize there and the two different... So there's the, neg the negative and the positive stencil there. All right, that's it. Not too bad. A couple mistakes. Uh, I'll get this fixed up. And no big deal. So next week we're not going to be here on Thursday because nope. it's Thanksgiving. So we're going to be here on Wednesday. We'll be uh, we're planning on Wednesday. Wait a minute, did I missed the stencil. Oh no. Okay, All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, once again, we're live every Thursday night. You can check us out. Yeah, before, but yeah, I thanks guys. It. Thanks for going down memory lane too. That's yeah, fun. <laughs> I love, love it. it. Thank you, thank you for all the super chats and everything you guys do. Appreciate that. But uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. We'll start that tank that we're talking about. WWF, maybe the Ultimate Warrior. We've got some first place right now. All right, okay, guys. See you. Have a happy weekend. See you Wednesday. See you guys. Thanks.